Hey guys, if you got here with another V plays, taking a look at the XF90. We are playing in the tier 10 match. We only have one other player on the enemy team because population is pretty sparse at this high of a tier. And we are going to be using a heavy jet fighter. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the XF90, the XF90 is known for being the fastest aircraft in the game. And it is the culmination of the American heavy line. The guns that this aircraft gets are pretty substantial. It's six 20mm cannons, and these are the same 20mm cannons that you would get on the F2H Banshee, which is this aircraft's predecessor. However, you get two more of them, which is going to make this thing far more capable. Initially, I'm just going to show you what it looks like when this thing starts closing on a target. Being that we are in a jet, you're going to see that the rate of closure is extremely fast when it comes to coming up against these aircraft. I do not want him to get a chance. This aircraft has the slowest turn rate in the game as well, coincidentally. And that was just a brushing pass and some heavy damage done to that enemy aircraft. We do have some of the fighters coming up from underneath us. Gone. Yep, there's the Spitfires are climbing up to meet us. We're going to have a heck of a time turning on them. It's like I said, really slow maneuverability, but the damage output is just massive. There's the enemy player up at high altitude. And we're going to boom and zoom on them. The F6U is the Pirate, and it is a Tier 9 fighter aircraft multiple. And you just see how quickly we have trid away that target. Here's this aircraft's predecessor, same guns. But we are just that much stronger than he is. This is great at hunting at other heavies. You can see the altitude that we're at while still maintaining over 350 miles an hour. And that was another XF-90. We can operate up here all day and do totally fine when it comes to the altitude. And those guns just Our wrecking things. This is a, this just a spectacular aircraft. And for those of you who get to the point where you kind of master the zoom and boom gameplay of this aircraft, you're going to find that this thing is quite the joy. Now, we're, we aren't going to turn. Right? We're not going to turn on that aircraft, we're going to get some separation, and we're going to do an up and over turn. And we're going to get high. I haven't even really used my boost up until this point, because I haven't needed to. Again, fastest aircraft. You actually are going to start firing way earlier when it comes to these types of aircraft, because by the time you get there, your guns are already going to be in range. That is the other XF-90. You are going to have to learn how to pull way further lead than you're used to. In fact, you're probably going to have to slam on the brakes in a lot of instances like I did just there. He is not getting away. And we are maintaining this rocket base. We wanted to get that rocket base early on because that is what's going to start capturing zones for us. And then I don't need to come down. Once you get those guns on target, they do all the work you need them to do. We're going to focus the player before we focus the bots. We didn't kill the aircraft, that's okay. We're going to press through, take some pot shots at this guy as we pass through, and just keep moving. Now we're boosting, and look at that speed. 650, 670, 700 miles an hour, even faster than that if we wanted to. Just incredible control of the battle space. Nobody can stop us. Again, we're coming up on this aircraft. A large enemy force is firing a little bit earlier base. than necessary Proceed there. Gone. Captured the zone. There is an enemy aircraft on us. That's the first time we've actually taken some serious damage. Oh, there is another engine gone, but we're already out of the zone. We are by their spawn, though, so this may be trouble for us. 
Hopefully that engine comes back. We're going to use the descent to get some more speed out of gravity. Keep it up. Victory is almost ours. Want my engine back. Don't die in the zone. Never die in the zone. And we lost the engine again. So it can get into trouble. Because <laughs> I definitely just did. But it doesn't matter. Game's over. I don't know. I don't really have too much else to say about this aircraft. I, I think it pretty much speaks for itself. When you choose the engagement and you don't make the mistake of heading towards the enemy spawn, it does pretty well. Uh, let's take a look at the end game results. Uh, I'm running premium ammo on this. I run premium ammo on all of my tier 10s because when you... The way this game scales, it's kind of nice because as you get higher in tier, you make more experience and you make a lot more credits. I also am running premium right now because I spent all of my tokens, the 150 that I had for a month of premium, so this isn't even going to hurt. Even if I wasn't, I still would have made 30,000 credits. And there's my aircraft XP, 9,500 experience, and 9,500 for the pilot. Now, I made a mistake here. There's no other aircraft to go to, so why am I building experience? Click the crew button, go to accelerated crew training. Next time I play this aircraft, it will roll the aircraft experience into the pilot experience, essentially doubling it every single time. That'll allow you to be able to build up some more XP. So let's talk a little bit about the stats and the build that I have in the airframe. You'll notice it looks very similar to all the other heavies I've ever showed you. Play to the strengths of the aircraft. We, even without an engine, we were still running at 610 miles an hour. Nah, nah. <laughs> it's just a fast plane. It's incredible. Uh, you can see its top speed with boost is 689, but with the advantage of having engine tuning, as well as having the improved aircraft polish and having Engine Guru 1 on the pilot, we're going super fast. We, with the boost, we were getting well over 700 miles an hour without even going into a dive. I am running fire extinguishers, that way if we get lit on fire, we can put it out for when we're running away. Uh, we have the pneumatic starter for restarting the engine if one of the engines goes out, even though we lost our engine several times during that engagement, at, towards the end at least. And then engine ventilation for us to get 40% of our boost back so we can keep running or we can just get it back because we've used it doing something else. And with the amount of speed this aircraft has, if there's any problems anywhere on the battlefield, you you can get there when it comes to intercepting bombers you'll crush it uh, just to give you an idea we get we range out to 2690 feet and we're doing a thousand and eighty damage per second that's a lot of damage uh, I've also put on here the improved radio site when you get to a certain tier, I'm not sure where it is, I want to say it's 8 or 9, that you can start using this. It actually gives you plus 15% accuracy instead of just plus 10%. And we are also running Marksman 1 and Marksman 2, and these give you 5% reduction to dispersion, as well as another 5% reduction to dispersion and an increase in accuracy by 10%. Something I think is probably accurate to state here is that how does it get more accurate against a maneuvering target? Like, how does that even happen? It's maneuvering, so by all intents and purposes, I should miss more. So does this mean that the game is making my bullets essentially home in on the target or increase their hitbox? Probably, probably a combination of those two. So even in just brushing passes, you saw how much damage I was able to cause to a bunch of those aircraft. And this is what I talk about when I am referencing this on other heavy fighters, is the boom aspect. You're getting a ton of damage that you're able to cause to an aircraft when you get the opportunity when you can because this aircraft is going to overtake a lot of aircraft very quickly and you saw how quickly I was passing through each one of those capture zones. One of the biggest problems I have with this aircraft actually is killing aircraft that aren't in the capture zone because we've moved out of it so quickly because they're also in jets. Uh, jet fighting is kind of a different arena altogether because you're going to be going so fast. This is the tier 10 heavy, if you look at the tier 10 multi-roll for the Americans, being the F7U, it's running around at 658 miles an hour as well. Pretty darn fast. So you're talking about high speed across the board, even at tier 9, 587 on the F9 Delta, or F94 Delta, excuse me. So just fast. 
everything gets really fast, well over 500 miles an hour, and you thought the XF5U was going fast when you got it, if you've ever flown it, at 503 miles an hour. So, guys, just accuracy. I'm going to advocate it again. Uh, it's going to be really important. Some people may say, well, why didn't you go with Engine Guru too? Well, did it look like I needed it? At that point, I'm just adding insult to injury. Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> you could try and augment it by putting, you could augment some of the lack of maneuverability for this 17 second turn time if you wanted, but you guys saw it. If I wanted to leave the area and come back, I could do it at my leisure. So let's take one more look at the battle results here. Just nasty. 10 kills, no deaths, 2 assists, 4,515 damage, top on the team. And it was a really quick match. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry, man. Uh, this just wasn't fair. Uh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in the tier 10 and you're in a tier 9. Uh, I'm playing this kind of mid-afternoon. There isn't a lot of people on at this time. I usually reserve playing my tier 9 and tier 10s for the weekends. And we're about to go into the invasion in about 30 hours. Um... Or not, yeah, it's invasion mode for March, and that's when we'll see a lot more of tier 9 and tier 10 type combat, but this is just a great plane. I don't know. I got nothing else to say, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any feedback to any of the videos. I appreciate it. Have a good day.